Hi guys, it's Dana. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, again, it's been a, a little gap between videos here and um, I sincerely apologize about that. I've really been having pain issues and you know, I've finally decided that I'm just gonna push through them whether I'm hurting or not because I love doing videos and I love sharing with you guys what I'm doing and um, and I just miss it. And so here I am. I haven't started another journal yet. I'm just kind of picking up here a little bit. Um, I haven't been super inspired for a journal since I finished Alice, my Alice journal. So I've been just kind of working on some ephemera and I want to show you what I was piddling around with. Um, first I took the scraps I had left from Alice and I just created a small little journaling card and a tag and um, a bigger journaling card and used up some of the scraps that were left on my table. I need to um, embellish these but the bases are done. And then last night um, I started working on just window envelope um, these are either belly bands or pockets. I've got a pile of them that I've done here. And all I've done is I've worked with just junk mail. Okay, so these are reply envelopes that came in with some bills. This was like my mortgage payment um, envelope, which I love because it's got this big window here. And that's what I've used for these. I'd been saving them. So I had these larger images just in my stash that I centered on the envelope and then I just cut, you can see I cut the envelope off um, to create a nice size for a tuck um, in a journal. So I've done that there. Um, here's some of the skinnier ones that aren't embellished and my images weren't big enough to fit in the window here um, but here's what I did was I just put it in there and then I just collaged over this part here so I still wound up with the image in a window so that's all I've done and then I glued them shut you can see that I've glued them shut and then I'm just going to collage over the top of them. So these are done except for I'd like to put some embellishments here on them. If we have time, we'll get to that. But I wanted to collage a few more. Um, I've done a couple of those longer, skinnier ones. So I'd like to do a couple of these bigger ones here. So let's move some of this aside. Those can go back in my stash. And so I have, look at this pile I have. I just started sticking images in. This was my census envelope. <laughs> so it's kind of big. So I might need to cut this down. I think I did measure it. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five and a half. So this could be a tall pocket in a journal. So I might just leave it like that. Okay, so I have this pile of things to embellish. I'd like to do these birdies um, and maybe this little chair with flowers on it. Let's start with those. What I pulled was my bit box, okay? It's kind of a mess. I've got it all kind of spread out here and I've got just little pieces of scraps. This is what I put them in when I have small pieces and Gosh, you wouldn't think you would use this. This is really pretty. I'm going to pull this out. <laughs> um, and I've kind of separated out the fabric from the paper. And so let's just get started. And all I'm going to do is collage around these. And I do have um, off to the side just some collage papers that I've printed um, from various digitals that I have. I have to look up. Um, where these came from. Um, so I've got these to use as well if I can't find anything in my bit box that I want to use. So all I'm going to do is just start kind of taking paper and uh, just kind of putting it around seeing how far we need to 
kind of tear this one down a little and that's all I'm going to do today this is what I've felt like doing um I've just have felt like collaging and doing and doing some uh ephemera pieces so that can go there and that can go there see we've got some blues here let's see what I have that would be pretty if I could get it a little straighter that would be helpful where's my tear ruler there we go Tear this edge a little straighter. So I hope y'all are doing okay. Um, tell me how y'all are doing. Are you still quarantining yourself? What is going on with y'all? Um, we are still quarantining ourselves around here as we're kind of in high risk situations. Um, this would be pretty, but I like a more torn edge. So let's give that torn edge here. I can just go right down there. Um, <clears throat> but we're doing okay. We're, you know, we're hanging in there. Is kind of how it is. Not much going on, really. It's pretty boring around here, actually. <laughs> okay, let's see here. This can go over here. I'd like to add some text put this over here it's not quite gonna fit let me see if I've got something else there's too much space on that one so let's just grab some more text I can go there and then we'll add a little something to the corner here all right so let's start working on this <clears throat> so anyway like I said there's really not a whole lot going on around here we're just kind of at home doing our thing I've been dealing with a lot of pain issues and unfortunately and um where's my glue book there it is and uh, that's pretty much the end of it right there um when I get in a lot of pain I don't really do a whole lot and uh I just been playing playing my video game and I like to play Animal Crossing so I've been doing that and uh, to kind of fill the time, I'm gonna line this up kind of on the edge of the of the acetate pocket here, so that the edge doesn't show. Okay, I'm just gonna fold this over instead of trimming it off, just because. For no other reason, but just because. <laughs> okay, and then I had this kind of like this. And I had this one in the corner, I think. So I think I want to lay this one down first. Yeah. So... I mean, it's pretty boring. I wish I had more to talk about, but it's, like I said, pretty boring. We're not really doing a whole lot. Um, my poor girls, 
you know, they're young and they just are really getting tired of staying at home and they're really struggling with that. And I just, you know, I feel bad for them. I mean, it's just, it's bad. <laughs> Their poor mental health is really taking a toll. Okay, I want to put this here, but I want to kind of rip this edges here just to give it a little texture so it's just not straight up and down. Okay, that's better. My um, son called me last week and um, he said that they had their first positive COVID-19 case at his work. So that was a little scary. So they were all sent home um, for several days while they decontaminated the, um, the facility. And he said the hardest thing about that whole situation was um, the HIPAA laws. Basically, he was just told that, you know, if you have come into contact with this person, we will call you. Um, so it's uh, it was just kind of like there was no information given because of HIPAA um, of who the person was that was um, infected. And so he said the hardest part was just kind of waiting to see if you were contacted, if you had come into contact with this person. And so he said that was just the most um, nerve wracking part of the whole thing um, was waiting to see if you were in danger. And uh, so, that was kind of scary. We're going to need a little piece for this corner here. But he didn't end up being contacted. So praise God about that. And then my sister called. I know I had said in a previous video, my brother-in-law works for the post office. And, um the kind of the Phoenix hub of the post office. And um, they had a positive COVID case um, a couple weeks back. I remember telling y'all about it. And um, she called the other night and said that they had been notified that, um, and the wording from the higher ups was, at least two more cases of positive cases had been diagnosed at the post office. So it's kind of like makes you wonder, well, were there more? Well, probably, because if they said at least, you know, or why would they not just say two? So that's pretty scary. So they're dealing with that as well. It's pretty scary that, you know, um, just with all, all over the news is, is things opening back up and stuff like that. And, um, oh, that looks really cute, doesn't it? Okay, we need a little patch here in the corner. And I'm thinking I have this really cute denim, but I'm looking for, I did have some lighter denim. Oh, this might be pretty too. This little flower. This is wallpaper. That flower kind of matches. Let's let's see if we can do that. I like that. Unless I can't find that lighter denim. I see a lot of the darker. Oh, this is like here we go. That'll work. Let's let's use that. We may use this as an embellishment maybe. Um, so anyway, it's, um, you know, it's kind of hard with the news and everything kind of opening things back up and, and then personally knowing that, um, knowing loved ones that are struggling with their workplaces with, um, 
positive cases being talked about. And so it's kind of a weird time. It's really scary, actually, um, with everybody pushing to open things back up. That looks really good. Let me just trim this because I can see that it's hanging off. straight. There we go. Um, so anyway, it's just, it, I think it's just a really hard position for people in government to be in right now, wanting to get things kind of quote unquote back to normal and stimulate the economy. Um, because businesses are closing and things like that, but you also have public safety to think about too. And I am really glad I'm not the ones making decisions about things like this because I can really see both sides of it. And so it's tough. Okay. Oh, that looks so cute. What do you guys think? Let me hold this up. Really cute, right? Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm just going to kind of sew around. I'm not sure if I have room to do both. See here I did an outer stitch that was straight and then I zigzagged around the image. I'm not sure if that would look a little too messy if I did that here, but I'm going to try it. So I'll be right back. Okay. So it did work. Um, this is really cute because what I did, I went over if you can see into the acetate pocket, just kind of zigzagged over the paper and the pocket. That's really cute. I'm happy with that. Okay. All right. So you've seen kind of how I decorate them and collage over the edges. So I wanted to make sure we had some time to embellish some of this stuff before, um, before I turned the video off. So let's, let's take a look at what we've got. Um, I just printed some new stuff here. Let me grab these. These are like definitions. Um, so I think I want to use some of these because um, I think they're pretty. And um, I've got bits of lace and material over here in my bit box that we can use to layer with. So let's see what we can come up with here. So let's see what words we have. Oh, creative is a good one. How about love? Oh, thankful. Thankful. Um, wonderful. Okay, these might be a little bit big for this one, but I have small. I printed them in a, another size. So all I did was change the printing size so that I could get teeny tiny ones. So let's use, let's see, got a whole handful of these. I did a ton of fussy cutting last week because it's something I can do in my chair. Oh yeah, that'll look really pretty right there with the smaller one right there in the corner. Um, let's see. Um, and I've got just some words here. Let's see what we have here. That might look cute. How about hope? I'll probably have to cut that a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, I'm going to ink these. do this maybe I'll tear it and we can have kind of a torn edge and you know maybe we'll put something right there I love playing with these embellishments oh let's see what I still have some of these tickets in here from Shabby Dabby Doodah. 
Um, let's see what I've got here. I've got a blue. That would look pretty. Maybe on here. Pink I'm not sure of. I wonder if I have any of the smaller ones to go with this. Yeah, I do. There's one. I'm not sure that I'm liking the brown. Oh, but here's a green. That would look pretty. I really should, I know, organize these, but <laughs> maybe we can put even some numbers on them. Here's a smaller green. I'll decide whether I want the green or the... Here's a number four. Let's see if we can get a different, a different color. Sorry guys, I don't need to, mean to make you watch me fumble for... Oh, here's a... Here's a pink number. I think I like that better than this grayish. Here's a blue one. We could do that. And here's a here's a black one. I know it's like no fun watching me sit and fumble with stuff. Sorry. And here's a pink one. Let's use that one. Okay. I think I'm done fumbling around. Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's see how we want to layer these things up. Just ink them really quick to get rid of my fussy cut errors. Because I don't always do perfect and sometimes I leave a little white edge not really knowing it because there's not good light where I, um, I think, I think I do want to use the blue even though it's smaller. I didn't want to take any other time looking for a larger one, but I think that'll look good. And I think I'll use the green one. And where are my pinking shears? I'm just going to take my pinking shears to the edges of these um, tickets. Just to give the edges a little bit of texture. So there's that one. And that one. So when we ink these, these will look really nice. All right. Okay. I like that. I like the edges of my like ticket things to have a little bit of texture to them. Just adds, you know, that much more to whatever it is that you're creating. And this one. Okay, now let's see what layering possibilities we have here. I'm thinking I'm just going to glue this little number down and create a little cluster on this one. Because the area I have to decorate with is just not that big on this one. I'll just put this right in the corner here. My end frame. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what we want to do here. Definitely want this like there. And then maybe some lace in between. Um, let's see what to have. Oh, I have this. This is my lace trim. That might be cute. I'll just cut a little piece of this off what I can do with it. Huh. Maybe 
able to turn it around. I want to see some of the tickets. So maybe I'll have the lace side right here. Okay. Ugh. There we go. Okay, I like that better. Let me get my tiny attacher. Because I'm just going to staple these together and try not to get the word. There we go. And then we can just put that right in the corner. That's cute. I like it. So I'm just going to put glue kind of all over here. Even on the fabric. Okay. And we'll just kind of sit this in the corner where we wanted it. Okay. That one's done. I like it. Okay. Now let's do this one. Gonna again have this in the corner. Just because I like that look. The little number in the corner. Okay, and we'll just do this one while we're at it. Cute. Okay. these away so I don't lose them. Okay, so what kind of, I'm thinking this can go like that with something in between. Oh, this is pretty. Oh yeah. Let's do that. That's really pretty. Okay. We had this kind of sitting like this. Let me get my fabric tack. Where is my fabric tack? Oh my gosh. My daughter's been messing with my stuff again. Hang on. There it is. Oh my gosh. Okay. I gotta show you this. This is what happens when my daughter my daughter messes with my stuff. Look at my fabric tar. Good grief. Okay, let's clean up our fabric tag. Oh my word. Luckily it cleans up easy, right? Good grief. Okay. <laughs> so I was gonna do this one kind of straight across. And I'm going to let this kind of hang off each side because I think this is going to be a belly band. So I'm just going to kind of put this all across here. And then if we miss some spots, that's super pretty. I'm glad I ran across that. Okay. thinking this right here and maybe I can take it to my I wonder if my sewing machine would go through all of that and zigzag the top of it let's see I'm just gonna glue the bottom part because I'd like to see if I could get a stitch across there I think that would kind of be a finishing finishing touch to it okay I'll be right back and see what we can do here. I'll be right back. Okay, so my sewing machine did take it and isn't that cute? I zigzagged on the top and the bottom. I just love that. That's a great belly band. Okay, one more real quick. I'm gonna slap this together super quick because my time is running out. And I think I'm gonna have the ticket on the foreground on this one and just something layering underneath. And I don't know if I want to use that. Ooh, this is pretty. Let's use this. 
Okay. Let's see if I can get that ripped here. Oh yeah, that'll look nice. Okay, let's put that down. If my fabric tag would work, there we go. Okay, we'll get that down. And then our word should be able to fit right here. So lay that down. that and then our ticket can kind of hang off the edge here a little maybe I can move this over a bit so it's not hanging off that much there we go and then we'll just this on here And I'm thinking I want to do the zigzag on that one. So I'll be right back with that. Okay. So that's how that looks. And I just did on the edge of the ticket here, just one edge, just to add a little something. Okay. And so that's how that one looks. So that's either a side pocket or a belly band. So that's what we've done today. This one and this one. And then we have this one. And I just think those turned out super cute. So I'm going to continue to work on these and add these to my stash so that I have these cute little things to pull for upcoming journals. As always, guys, have a wonderful day. God bless. It's so good to be back with you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.